She was hacked. Now she's on the attack. In the current issue of Vanity Fair, Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence speaking out about the new photo hacking scandal, saying, I don't have anything to say I'm sorry for. I was in a loving, healthy, great relationship for four years. It was a long distance, and either your boyfriend is going to look at porn or he's going to look at you. Now, she's also said... It is a sexual violation. It's disgusting. The law needs to be changed, and we need to change. That's why these websites are responsible. Pretty strong stuff there, Ben. Uh, I understand why she's upset, but what part of this? It feels like part of this is sort of not just you know the demeaning to the entire audience or the entire country, but equating leaking her photos to some really harsh crimes against women. Uh, it's a ridiculous idea to call it a sex crime. It's a ridiculous idea to call it a crime of any kind. There might be some civil violation involved, but no kind of crime. But that being said, I've been smeared by these websites. Uh, I hate it. I hate those websites that uh, exist to make people's lives miserable. Anything that can be done to slow them down, short of criminal prosecution, is great with me. Dagan, I mean, listen, Jeez. I mean, obviously we understand why, why she's upset, but, I, you know, the criticism seems to go too far. Um... It's a crime. They were stolen, and these individuals will be prosecuted. The they guy will? who, yeah, the guy who stole Scarlett Johansson's photos, ten years in federal prison. So they will hunt these people. What about down. the websites? The I mean, talking about the and websites. And by the way, I did see them, but with the companies, the companies are like Twitter, very quick to remove these photos. And you've seen that now. Her attorney sent letters to a lot of these companies, but Google has removed the images or scrubbed the images in every way that they could. The companies have moved to take them down doing the right thing but you know what don't take naked there's photos two, of yourself listen, there's, there's two issues here there's the person the the, the entities or the people who stole the photos that's a crime and yeah, that's, that's a, a felony yeah uh, there's the the issue of can you put it on a website right and like I'm with Ben with these uh, these you know these right. gossip websites are disgusting but if we're gonna start censoring what they do it scares me and Although, I'll tell you that that oh, and I always say there's kind of oh, an easy solution to Gary, this even though I one second because we, we, we got pictures. a hard break here but Gary Gay uh, you know Twitter self police itself sometimes so I mean maybe they, there's a point where it, it, they do have some responsibility here well look it's Al Gore's fault he invented the internet <laughs> that's number one but look uh, they should be prosecuted who ever stole the pictures, number one, but the World Wide Web is just too big. The good news is some are responsible, some of these sites are taking it down, but right. there's no way of getting rid of all of it. Adam? Well, it pains me to say this, but I agree with Charlie and Gary completely. <laughs> all right. Fox News alert number three. We're on a roll. Hey,